Hi, my name is Miriam. I'm a registered dietitian, and today I'm gonna to show you my favorite way to freeze soup for meal prep using these silicone ice cube trays. I like to call them soup cubes. I started freezing soup this way in preparation for a surgery that had a really long recovery time. I love having home cooked meals, but I knew I wasn't gonna be able to cook for myself for a few months. So I gradually prepped and froze a bunch of soups and stews in preparation for my surgery. I like this method as opposed to freezing and thawing in plastic bags because the liquid isn't actually touching plastic while freezing and thawing. Plastics can contain toxins like BPA and phthalates. These toxins can suppress the immune system, cause problems with infertility, and even promote the development of certain cancers. To get started, you'll need your homemade soup. So today I'm using chicken veggie. You'll need gallon sized food storage bags and two inch silicone ice cube trays. A large pot of soup will fit into about four of these ice cube trays. And you'll need two storage bags to fit all of the frozen cubes. Once you've made your soup, let it cool. Using a ladle, pour an even mixture of the soup into each cube. Make sure to leave a little bit of room at the top because the ice cubes expand when they're freezing. Then you place the trays in the freezer. I like to put a paper towel underneath the tray in order to prevent spilling. Label your bag with the meal name and date. Once the cubes are frozen, you're gonna pop them into the storage bag and place them back in the freezer. They should keep about six months. When you're ready to reheat, add three to five cubes per person into a pot, cover, and heat on medium low for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Before serving, I'll add greens like bok choy or kale. Some of my other favorite recipes to cube are green curry with chicken, bone broth, veggie bolognese, and chicken tikka masala. Some benefits to freezing your own meals are that you can avoid unhealthy additives that are in a lot of pre-made frozen foods. It's also easier and faster to heat up than ordering delivery. And if you're someone who loves to meal prep, but you get bored of having the same foods every day, cubes are a great way to mix it up. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. I'll see you next time. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's